Welcome to Wizard Time. I'm Bobby Warner along with head coach Gary Perko of the Winter High School girls basketball team. This is podcast number six and we have a special segment this time. Yeah, it's all about our, our, our coaching staff that we have in high school, which uh, I'm very proud to have at least uh, four coaches coaching with, with us uh, because they just do a great job with the program and with the, and with the girls. So I'm lucky to have all four of them helping uh, and they've been pretty much with me from the start when I've taken over the program, so it's just been a great, great joy to have them on, on staff. And how long have you been the head coach of the high school girls basketball? Yeah, this this will be starting my fourth year, fourth year with the program. So, and like I said, most of the coaches, uh, with the exception of one, Coach Cassidy, have been with, with us from the start of uh, uh, taking over the program four years ago. And one of your coaches, uh, she even helped you with uh, some of your middle school program. Yeah, Coach, uh, Coach Roseanne Miller, uh, she helped me down uh, probably for 10, 12 years down when I had the middle school program. So she's been, been with us for that amount of time too. So that's been a great help. Well, in this segment, we're going to feature uh, Coach Perko's assistant coaches, the ones behind the scenes. Once that some of them made me laugh when I'm on the <laughs> on the bench listening to you guys, but uh, then we'll talk a little bit about them. We got your C team coach, your JV team coach, and your two assistant coaches. Exactly. So uh, hopefully they can give you a little insight into what they do <laughs> behind the scenes, you know, not not only on the on the court, but behind the scenes too, because they do a lot of a lot of stuff that people don't see, uh, other than the fact that when they're on the court. So it's been. Well, we'll take a time out. Our special segment is coming up. We're going to meet the coaches on Wizard Time. Hello, this is Coach Perko. I hope you're enjoying our Wizard Time podcast. The Windsor High School girls basketball team runs on the amazing support of our community and sponsors. I'd like to take a minute to thank Global Shot Doctor for their support of our Windsor girls basketball program. Welcome to Wizard Time. I'm Bobby Warner, and uh, this time we're going to have a special segment with the coaches, and, and we're going to start with you. You're the guinea pig. You get to be the first one to start with uh, C team coach Chris Manier. Thanks for coming. Thank you, Bob. Appreciate sure. you being here. Well, you kind of lost a little bit about our podcast, and so we've done the player time, but it's really fun to focus on the coaches, the great people behind the scene. This year you're doing C team. Is this your second year? You're going to do that. Second year. C-team. So, what's your uh, involvement with the coaching staff? That, the Winter High School girls basketball program. Uh, I was one of the original ones that Perko hired to be his JT, a JV team coach. Uh, my class of girls that I've worked with all the way up through were freshmen last year, so wanted to move down to the C team to coach them as they came up, and then ended up on the main C team, the main JV. So, uh, <laughs> but I, I stayed down, and I really enjoyed being the C team. I would like having the girls when they first come in, and sure. I get a chance to introduce them to the program. Yeah, I noticed when we were doing the highlights that uh, a lot of the girls are pretty young that are moving up to the even the varsity level, JV level. So you, so C team level, you're probably just having the, the maybe the newer ninth graders. Right. Yeah. Well, almost all freshmen uh, this year. I don't know that they'll have any sophomores. Probably going to be all freshmen. Uh, and actually, our, probably our better three or four freshmen will have moved up. Well, you've been around the program for four years, but tell us a little bit about your family. You have uh, one daughter that's actually playing. Yeah, uh, Missy is my uh, youngest daughter. She'll be a sophomore this year. Uh, Melanie, uh, my middle daughter, she graduated last year. She's a freshman at CSU. And then my oldest, Megan, uh, is a junior at Kansas. Oh, that's great. And I see your wife at the games a lot, yeah, too. She, comes to the she does our uh, end-of-the-year banquet. Uh, so it does. Just give you a little bit of the time, okay, but the, uh, <laughs> what happens well is you guys have a lot of, uh, not only you doing a lot of basketball during this time, but you're also a tennis coach. Yep, the high school. Both boys and girls tennis. Uh, we're in the middle, uh, right now, in the middle of October, and at the end of September, we're in the middle of our boys tennis season. That's good. So you are kind of doubling up and you double off a lot during the whole year. Yeah. I tried to convince as many basketball girls as possible to come out to girls tennis in the spring. <laughs> the more numbers, the better. So you have some ulterior motives with, yeah. the, <laughs> with the basketball coaching. And that's just it's it's having athletes. I mean, having sure. girls to come out for tennis that are just athletes. They don't have to know how to play tennis. They don't have to know how to move. So what's the biggest accomplishment you guys think you've done since three or four years? This year, fourth year going well, in. Well, I, I mean, we've made state every year. Uh, we've had some really good games. We were a foot on the line three-pointer away from beating Longmont. 
couple of years ago at their place when they were ranked one. Sure. Uh, Megan Wilkinson's toe was on the line, otherwise we'd have won that game. So we've had some good ones. Yeah, you guys have had some pretty good talent come through. And I think, um, being a C team coach, you're probably you're the one that develops them to go up to the, the varsity level. And that, that's what I consider my job is to you know, prepare them for, at this point now, the JV level. Uh, we have different uh, things that we do in this, you know, at the C team where maybe we don't put all the pieces in, uh, but they need to have those pieces when they get to the JV. So uh, we try to give them what they need to succeed at that level. And then Coach U will give them the pieces they need to succeed at the next level. So what do you find is the girls lacking when they get to your level now? It's you know, the on. first couple years, uh, just fundamentals, but lately not much. Uh, I think the middle school coaches, obviously, dead mealies, et cetera. Yeah. You know, more so you don't tend to high school girls. Middle school coaches with that kind of resume. Yeah, she's over she 20 years. That's yeah. yeah. Comes to high school. So the Severance girls have come in with incredible skills. It's just fundamentally sound. So we don't have to do much. Yeah, well, that's nice. It makes it a little bit easier yeah. on your job. Yeah. And we do, we do a lot of camps and, you know, we do the shot doctor a couple, three times a year and invite the community to come in and the girls want to play, so we try to give them a lot of that up front. So. Well, CT coach uh, Chris Manier, I appreciate you coming and being okay. with us. Appreciate you. Have a good year and good luck this year. Cool. Thank you. We'll be back in just a moment. We're going to visit with another coach on the special coaches segment of Wizard Time. Hello, this is Coach Perko. I hope you're enjoying our Wizard Time podcast. The Windsor High School girls basketball team runs on the amazing support of our community and sponsors. I'd like to take a minute to thank K&W Printing for their support of our Windsor girls basketball program. Welcome back to Wizard Time. I'm Bobby Warner along with this time our special coach segment, Coach Roseanne Miller. And I understand before our segment we were talking about you get called a lot of different names. <laughs> Is that right? Yeah, you're welcome. <laughs> Thought I'd help you out right away. <laughs> I feel fortunate to uh, interview you because you've been around with me for, I've, I think this is my 13th year at Parks and Recreation. You're like one of the first people I met, so thanks for being with us. Oh, time. It's my pleasure. Now, basketball, which you've also helped me with for a long time, you uh, are now helping Coach Perko as assistant coach, and this is your fourth year. Mm -hmm. Tell us a little bit about your experiences and what you, what you bring to the program. I think the biggest difference is that I get to work individually with girls. Um, you know, most of the other coaches have to work with you know a whole group, and I get to kind of look at one person, what maybe I can help them with, um, you know, work better on whatever. Um, so I, I can work individually more with them. You also are the only female on staff, and so I bet you work not only individually, but there's some things that probably the girls get to go to you about maybe differently than the male coaches. Definitely, they always come to me to ask me if they can go to the bathroom. Oh, is that right? So that one thing. <laughs> that's, that's probably about it. They yeah. 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 I think yeah. I've seen you on the sidelines sometimes. They'll try to pass Perko. <laughs> <laughs> they'll go right to you and they'll get a little bit of a more nurturing on that side. When yeah. Perko gets a little bit angry or something, maybe that, that's why you brought them out. Yes, yeah. I, I mean, we try with, with all of us, whenever they come out the game, to you know, let them know what they were doing well and what they could improve on. So, I mean, that, I think that's probably the one thing that's really changed with the program is that when they come out of the game, you know, and it may be that they can, didn't come out because they did something wrong, it was just they need a break or somebody else needs to go sure. in. Um, but we always try to talk to them, you know, let them know how they're doing it and, you know, maybe what they can change or whatever, so. Now your history with Burko is a little bit longer than some of the other coaches because you have, uh, you helped them also out of the middle school level. Yes, well I've known Burko for, like our girls, our, our two daughters, um, Caitlin and Anna, grew up together and were good friends, so. Um, I actually coached a club team, and that's kind of how I got started um, in middle school. So, sure. Yeah, it's been great. Love it. Well, you mentioned at least one of your daughters, Kayla. Why don't you tell us a little bit about your family? Um, I have three boys, Brady, Brad, and Philip, um, and then two girls, Kayla and Stephanie. And they all played basketball through middle school and some into high school, but then they all turned to soccer. <laughs> soccer became their favorite sport. That became their favorite sport, yeah. yes, which I knew nothing about. No, but you uh, learned how to coach that. That's too. right, that's right. Yeah, that was good. I know you can help me with That was when you first started with me with soccer. We did, I didn't know anything about soccer. Either. Yeah, that was good. So what do you what do you expect for this? You're assistant coach for the varsity level. What do you expect out of this year's group? You know, I think this group is um, it's, it's a more cohesive group. They've come up. They've been playing together for a long time. Uh, I'm really excited. I think they are, too. I, I've just heard where they are ready to get started and play together. And 
you know, they're all, there's a lot of them that are in different sports right now and just trying to finish up with that. So they're not able to come to some of the open gyms and so we miss them. But, um, you know, it's great that they're doing another sport and, and getting to, you know, get that experience of doing something else, being with other girls. So Yeah, I think your coaching exciting. staff promotes that with doing other sports. I know, talk to Coach Manier and he wants them to play tennis and do some mm -hmm. other things too. And so, yeah, the all-around yeah. athletes, nice yeah. thing to have. It's, it's important, I think, for them to do that. Yeah. So, um, some of these kids are a little bit younger, though. You have at the varsity level than maybe you've been used to. Mm -hmm. Yeah, girls that I think have been playing for a long time that have been. It just shows that those programs and the club teams that have started, you know, down lower, that it's really important for them to keep going. And you know, you just see it in high school. Well, I appreciate it because you're my liaison to Perco <laughs> to get that uh, younger group going. So I appreciate it. I think that it's also started to work well for your program at the higher level. Yeah. It's yeah. Great. Well. Thank you very much, Assistant Coach Roseanne Miller, our other player, or our coach segment in our special coaches edition of Wizard Time. We'll be back with more in just a moment. Hello, this is Coach Burko. I hope you're enjoying our Wizard Time podcast. The Windsor High School girls basketball team runs on the amazing support of our community and sponsors. I'd like to take a minute to thank Rios Painting for their support of our Windsor girls basketball program. Welcome back to Wizard Time. I'm Bobby Warner. And we're on our coaches segment of our Wizard Time, and we're welcome now Troy Ukasik, who's one of the coaches of the Windsor High School girls basketball team. Well, welcome to Wizard Time. Thanks, Bobby. Well, let me tell you a little. Why don't you tell us a little bit about yourself and how you got involved with the Windsor High School girls basketball program? Well, I uh, was coaching a club team here in town, and I've coached in the past. And uh, Coach Perko, actually, I approached him and said, "What are you guys running in your program so that I can get these girls?" It's the junior class this year, my daughter's class and asked him what kind of offense they run, uh, what kind of things they're doing on defense so we can get a little, have them ready when they came in to a high school. And so then uh, I think Kirk, Coach Burko came to a few of my practices and came to a couple more games and stuff and it eventually led into, well, would you like to coach C team here? And that's how it all kind of developed, so. Well, you have a daughter that's in the program. You said now she's a sophomore or junior? Uh, Corbin is a junior. Mm -hmm. So. Yeah, so she's been uh, playing uh, with the program all, all three years. So Yeah, and now you're coaching the C team. How is that? Do you get to watch your daughter play? Well, actually, I coached the C team the first year, and then last year, um, Coach Manier, who was coaching the JV, and I switched. So now he's coaching the C team, and I'm coaching the JVs. So I'm, I'm in the what's called the big gym with the varsity and JV and girls gym. now. So yeah. Very good. So well, tell us a little bit about now what you do for the program and what you uh, like about what you're as a coach. Um, I, I like our staff. We have really good staff, and we just got the best girls in town. I mean, they're really, really good. They're they're good students. They're good citizens. Good players. It's just a lot of fun to be around them. We now it's just different when you and I were in school. We played basketball from. November to February, and then you went on to another sport. We've got girls now that are constantly playing basketball, and so we see them. Like last year when the season was done, we started up three weeks later, and we're kind of doing open gyms, and then the summer program rolls around, and so we're seeing them all summer, and then school starts, and we're doing open gyms again. So it really is a uh, um, a fun thing just being around the kids and watching the program. I, it's, it, Coach Burko was very generous, letting us come on, let me come on the staff, and um, my role was really JV coach, and then uh, I guess quasi varsity assistant when we're doing practices. We he he's very inclusive, letting us run drills and uh, um, a lot of input into the program as far as what we should do and those kinds of things. Well, you have your daughter playing, and now she's a junior, and I know you have a son too, and your wife is also. I know she's helped. Me personally coached basketball too along with you. Right, she's coached a lot in the soccer and basketball and all that and uh, um, so she's pretty involved with everything. Now that our kids are older, uh, Trent, my son, is going to the University of Oregon. So he's a freshman this year, he's a duck and uh, he's having fun going to their games and doing that stuff and studying and uh, we just took him out there last month. So he's there. So we're becoming empty nesters with uh, Corbin being a junior now. She can drive, so we don't have to take her any place. So we've got a lot, of, a lot more free time on our hands. But um, So that that's kind of our family situation. And your son, he played, I think he wrestled at the high school? He did. He, he, played wrestled, he played football the first two years, then he wrestled his sophomore and junior years. And then he also swam. And uh, just, uh, I guess we found out yesterday, there he was on one of the um, record teams. He had the record four by 
50 relay, and they got that up on the board in the swimming Great. pool yesterday. So that's going to be nice when he comes back for Christmas. Go check that out. Well, all summer long, we got to see highlights of the kids as you guys were playing the summer camps and doing some other things. And, and your daughter Corbin, even though she's a tall player, she can shoot from the outside, and we saw that a lot. Yeah, she's really spent a lot of time on her shot. Um, uh, she doesn't necessarily like promoting this, what she did last summer, but um, starting last May, she started this program of shooting 500 shots a day for 500 straight days. That just ended September 29th, so she's now done with that. But that was, it was a big commitment. I mean, uh, we were in every day, rain or shine, she was shooting sometimes outside of our court at our house. But, you know, little things like when we're going to, to Sterling, we knew we were going to get back at midnight. The gym's not going to be open, and so we got up and you know, 5:36 in the morning, got into the gym, got the shots done, and got home so she could get ready and go to school. So she has committed a lot of time to it, and uh, she has become a much better shooter. And uh, um, so that that's really helped the game, and it's helped the program, and it's helped her out, and it's kind of showed her that if you commit to something and work really hard, you can you know make good strides. So. Well, that's a major accomplishment. Yeah, it was fun. She can raise her arm still. <laughs> yeah. She actually. She actually started shooting left-handed because oh. her arm would get tired. Oh, sure. So she's now actually she can she can shoot a very good percentage free throw line with her left hand, and she actually shoots threes with her left hand too. Oh, so she's cool. getting to where she's developed that pretty good. Well, Troy, I'm sure appreciate you visiting with us. And you bet. We're getting close to the season now, and I bet it's kind of exciting now to get from your summer to. Can't wait. Today's the first happen. day we practice, or we have conditioning camp. And we don't practice till Friday, but uh, it, it's exciting. It's a fun day to get this rolling. So. Really good. Well, thank you very much. All right, Troy Ukasik, one of our coaches on our coaches segment. We'll be back after a timeout. We'll be back with more Wizard Time in just a moment. Hello, this is Coach Perko. I hope you're enjoying our Wizard Time podcast. The Windsor High School girls basketball team runs on the amazing support of our community and sponsors. I'd like to take a minute to thank Sunburst Enterprises for their support of our Windsor girls basketball program. Welcome back to Wizard Time. I'm Bobby Warner, and this is our special coaches segment. This time we have uh, assistant coach Jim Forth with us. Thank you very much for coming out. Hey, thanks, Bobby. So Wizard Time, we've been talking with the other coaches about how things are going, but how did you get associated with the Windsor Girls High School Basketball Program? Well, I mean, as a lot of people know, Coach Perko was my head boys coach when I was at Windsor High School, and you know, over the years we've uh, maintained a friendship and talk a lot of basketball and. Uh, it was kind of one of those things that we always talked about that if coach ever got in another head coaching job in the area I wanted to be a part of his staff and help out and it just worked out that the Windsor job came up and he got the job and it, it's been perfect I mean uh, my alma mater uh, the girls are great it's it's a lot of fun to coach with coach Perko and uh, it just kind of worked out for the best you guys kind of uh on the side, I get to see you guys a little bit. You guys kind of complement each other pretty well. You have a little bit more of the comedic area. <laughs> Prickle gets a little uh, on the high strung area sometimes. You guys, I think that works out pretty well for you. Is that how you see it? Or it it does, and, and, and I, some of it's strategic, and some um, of it just uh, <laughs> just happens. We do play uh, good cop, bad cop sometimes, uh, and, and it, it works for us. And uh, you know, it's easy for me to to kind of bring him back down. And, and, and on the other side of that. Um, it's good for me to, to see that competitiveness and that seriousness uh, when it comes to not just a game, but uh, practice and all of those things. I mean, he's a mentor to me, and uh, so hopefully I can bring something to the program that he doesn't, uh, uh, and he's always teaching me. So, yeah, it works out pretty good. Yeah, it does. <laughs> Now you guys have worked a lot on the developmental program portion of it. I know your daughters are playing basketball right now. And how important is that, do you think, that, and maybe your role of that? Yeah, it's huge. I mean, to, to establish the program in the community with the girls at a young age so that they see uh, the high school kids having a good time and competing at the highest level and getting the fundamentals of our program in at the youngest age possible obviously helps them as they move through the program. So it's key to to maintain a positive program and hopefully a winning program. Sure. Well, let's tell a little bit about your family. So you have two girls right now that are yeah. playing basketball too and you're yeah. coaching. Yeah, it's crazy. I coach a fourth grade rec yeah. team, a sixth grade competitive team, yeah. and then obviously help out at the high school. And uh, they luckily 
love the sport, and and I and I say that seriously because we've talked about other opportunities, other things that they could do outside of school, and they've always wanted to come play basketball. So uh, it's been great, and and they're getting better, and the kids around them. It's fun to to deal with those kids too. I love teaching the game, and sometimes at the high school level, you don't get as many opportunities to teach. They know a lot of things already, but at the fourth grade, and sixth grade level, there's a lot of teaching. Yeah. <laughs> also, yeah, some family support from your father and your mom. They come to the games. Oh, awesome. yeah. Absolutely. Absolutely. Dad's been a part of the program since we started filming games. They love Windsor. I mean, obviously, we've been in Windsor for a long, long time. And it gives them uh, somebody to come watch. Not that they wouldn't come watch anyway, sure. uh, but it gives them uh, something yeah. to come see for sure. Well, what about the style of uh, Coach Burko when you were playing compared to now? Has it changed a little bit or is it about the same? A, a little bit. The intensity has not changed at all. Um, his uh, passion for the game of basketball has not changed at all. Um, and the way he cares about the kids that he coaches has not changed at all. He, he truly cares about the kids that he coaches, and, and that's why he has such a passion for the game. And, and I will defend him to the end uh, when it comes to his style. Um, it works. Um, but it's also important to have somebody on your staff that can maybe handle some of those other things. And our staff uh, complements uh, each other very, very well. So, no, I mean, he's probably a little less gruff, and, you know, it's with girls as well, but uh, not much. No? <laughs> not much. It's real similar to what you remember. Absolutely. Yeah. Well, you guys are now getting close to the regular season. Tell us a little bit about your role then as a you're an assistant coach for the varsity team, and, yep. and how that works for you. It's all about preparation, right? It's about making sure that everybody's ready to go when when it's game time, and uh, that includes conditioning. That includes uh, you know technique uh, and working on fundamentals. You're always working on the fundamentals. You can never uh, stray too far away from those uh, throughout the entire year. So. Um, it's very important that we get off on the right foot, um, that we get conditioned, because our style of offense and defense uh, really takes a lot out of, out of the girls, and so it's very important to be there. And then just so that the repetitions are there, both offensively and defensively. And my role, obviously, is on the defensive side, so it's uh, very important that we know what we're doing on the defensive side. One, so I don't get yelled at, and two, that the girls don't get yelled at, and that we, that we do our job defensively. So, yeah, that's how, we, how I prepare and what my, my role is. Well, I got to watch some highlights, and we did some segments in the summertime, and now you're getting close to the, obviously, the fall. Actually, the season <laughs> is coming up. How excited are you, and how optimistic are you about the season coming? You know, as an assistant coach, I can say some things that maybe the head coach can't. And I'm very, very optimistic about the season. Our summer went really, really well. Um, we've got some great leadership and some good young talent coming up. And, uh, you know, I think uh, in the league that we're in right now, we really have a good shot of competing uh, for a league championship. And obviously, uh, the fall sports have been really, really good to Windsor High School. And we want to follow suit. We want to, uh, you know, take that momentum into the winter sports season and uh, hopefully, uh, like I said, compete for, for a league championship. Right. Well, good luck. I appreciate you coming and visiting with us. I know you're on your way back to practice. <laughs> another special coach segment, current assistant coach uh, Jim Porth with us today. We're going to take another time out. We'll be back with more Wizard Time in just a moment. Welcome back to Wizard Time. I'm Bobby Warner, along with it, Coach Gary Perko of the Windsor High School girls basketball team. We got to see some of the behind the scenes Coach or talk to the coaches and talk a little bit behind the scenes and, and I guess you're pretty proud of what you have established so far with your team and your coaching staff. We are, you know, it's 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 unusual sometimes to have a group of four people uh, stay that long with the program, uh, but that sure gives us continuity starting from our C team, our JV, all, all the way up to varsity because every year it's not like to have them start over. They know what you know what we expect. Expect so it's just been a joy to have them uh, be with the program. I know one of the things that they're not only with your program, but they're also interested in being in the in the community, helping out younger kids. And so when they get to the high school level, they've already seen your coaches out and about in gyms and helping them out in other sports and doing things with you and the program. It's been really nice to probably as, as they get to your high school level, they're already known by you. Exactly. You know, we, you know, we put our clinics, you know, like for you guys at the red department and, and shooting clinics. And like you said, these younger girls, they come in and, and view our coaches. And then when they get to the high school program, they already know them. And, and so that, that's a great help to, to our program. 
Well, we want to thank all our co your four coaches, Coach Kasich, you, Roseanne Miller, Chris Manier, and Jim Korthoff for helping us out and being our special segment. Thank you, Bob. All right, that's our podcast number seven. And then we were going to have podcast number eight. That'll come up, and hopefully in November, so we'll be looking for that. Also, make sure you'll be watching for us on wizardtime.org, Facebook, and iTunes. We're all on all that. And uh, thanks to John Pemberton for getting that all set up and ready to go. But our season is just around the corner, and so that'll be good for us. And as all the preliminary stuff, we met the coaches, had some Wizard Time players, and, and we're looking forward to another season. We are too, Bobby. That's going to be, I think, I hope, an uh, exciting season for not only our girls, the program, but for the community too. Thanks again for joining us on Wizard Time. We'll see you next time.